So let's take a look at the train simulator menu system. So we're just going to go into drive. You see the tabs on top. Quick drive, career, standard, free roam, workshop. But starting with the standard tab. So you will notice that uh, there is a number of, of choices here. It, you have up in the top left corner, you have the loco. Uh, for selecting the engine you want to use and the select route for selecting the route you want to be in. Well, these are pre-scripted uh, scenarios. You do not have a choice on both of those items. It's not loco and route. It's either or. You're either selecting the engine and finding which routes uh, are available for that engine that are scripted or you're selecting the route and determining what scenarios are available and what engines are in those scenarios. You have to look at it this way. The, the logic behind these uh, tabs is they're scenario driven. So the scenarios dictate through the scripting of the developer or whoever wrote the scenario where you are and what engine is going to be used. Now they may have written several scenarios for a particular route to use different uh, engines and trains. You'll also notice that in the standard mode that you can't change the, the season, the weather, or the time. That's all scripted within these scenarios. So you're very limited in standard. You're limited to whatever the developer has in the scenario. There's a section here. Uh, once you select your route, and once you select your scenario, it'll tell you the duration, what's expected, the duration, 70 minutes, 50 minutes, whatever it is, and a little bit about the train. You can notice over on the right screen where you see the scenarios coming up that... Uh, go up and down the, the one that's in blue um, is the one that's currently selected and those tabs up there scenario name and train name that's just for assorting the uh, ascending or descending by the either the scenario name or the train name it's just for sorting those it doesn't uh, do anything other than that uh, that you only see the scenarios that are built for the particular route that you have selected. If there's no scenarios written for that engine, uh, it'll still bring up a bunch of scenarios. Uh, that's the kind of the, the the mystery of this. It'll bring up a bunch of scenarios, but uh, it'll it'll automatically go to a, another route and another engine because it needs to put something there. And, and if I find it very confusing uh, that it does that, but I guess that's better than the whole thing kind of collapsing on you. The career tab is identical to the standard tab with one exception. It will give you a, a score. A basically, it's a point system of how well you've done. I do not like the idea that it calls it the career tab. Uh, it's not like any other game where you have a career mode and you basically select what character you want to be and you go live that character out for some duration of his life. That's not the case here. The career tab is nothing more than a bunch of scenarios. That, in fact, usually the same scenarios that are in the standard tab, only when you go through your work orders and you, you accomplish your objectives and you complete everything, uh, it gives you a final performance score and, and rates you on that and you can look how well you've done. If you don't care to have anybody telling you what to do and where to go and how to do it, there's the free roam tab. The free roam tab gives you the freedom with no objectives and no tasks to do. You just uh, hop on the train and run through the scenery and it's all yours. You can go ahead and switch cars, drop them off, do whatever you want. However, this 
free roam tab like the scenario tab and the career tab has to have pre-built scripted scenarios available if there's no scenarios written for free roam you won't be able to to run in the free roam so a lot of developers will tell you yes we have as well as we have the standard and career uh, scenarios we also built you some free roam so you can just explore our route uh, to your liking a lot of times the free roam scenarios are very limited in what trains you can uh, use so that's the wonder of the quick drive tab unlike the free roam the standard in the career you can fully control without any limitation you can pick your locomotive, you can pick your um, route, and you can pick your season, your weather, and the time of day. The free, uh, the quick drive is wonderful uh, because basically in picking all those things, uh, you are writing your own scenario. Now, that is the only limitation to the quick drive is you do have a starting point and you do have a destination so you can do anything you want but once you reach that destination then it's then the scenario completes and and uh, you're kicked out you're done just like if you're running a standard or a career uh, scenario when you're running quick drive as soon as you've finished and have gone to the final destination It'll, it'll finish the uh, scenario and you'll be done quick drive uh, performance monitoring no uh, AI trains uh, I think it's possible uh, but uh, not normally uh, objectives no that's the, the the big disadvantage of a quick drive you you pick your own you write your own scenario everything you want to do uh, but you're doing it off the top of your head. You know, you don't have anybody giving you a work order to do uh, and to complete. But you do have a final destination. So once you do get and reach that final destination, that's the end of that scenario. Uh, you're able to create your own scenario in Quick Drive. So that's that's great, and that's what makes a Quick Drive a, a wonderful thing for exploring. And driving whatever train with it, whatever uh, engine you want, and we'll go into how to you can custom build your own uh, trains uh, for that. Now, career tab, they can see in this chart, uh, performance monitoring, uh, AI trains. So you're going to see you're not going to be the only train out there. You're going to see uh, other motion, other trains, other movement going on, and, and you got to watch your signals. You got to watch where you're going. Uh, you do have objectives you have a final destination which then completes everything standard mode just like the career mode you have the AI trains you have objectives you have destinations but there's no performance ranking or score and you're not able to create your own scenario now free roam uh, you, you don't have any performance monitoring you, you normally without any uh, special development you wouldn't see any other trains except for the one yet you're driving no other moving ai trains going on in the free roam no objectives no destinations uh, and you're not able to create your own scenario in the free roam scenario it, it's still scripted like any other it it places what locomotive you're going to be using and what consists what cars are going to be there what what train and what static trains are, are are available but in the description when you first start up the game or before you start up in the scenario description it could give you a a, a good brief of what is expected you to do during that but you're free to do whatever you want continuous play yes this is the one great thing what I consider the, the wonderful part about free roam is you can actually have a career as you would think of in free roam and I'm going to walk you through how to kind of make your own career there but basically because you never have 
a final destination. You never have a place where it kicks you out. You can save and come back and save again and then keep coming back and going through as long as you want, days, whatever, uh, day after day. And But you have to have a free roam that is worthwhile uh, for you to come back to. There's a lot of features in uh, train simulation that I don't think you can actually take advantage in any other scenario type outside of free roam. Uh, for example, your engines have a limited amount of fuel. Well, if you run a standard career or quick drive, you're going to reach a destination most likely long before you run out of fuel. So free roam uh, gives you the ability to uh, just kind of live forever and just uh, when you're done save and then come back uh, when you want to get back into your uh, quote career and resume where you left off and go back to moving people or moving cars or shuffling things around and and just uh, live a life of until you get bored with it how to create your own custom train for quick drive choose your season your weather your time of day your route your your starting point and your final destination and then choose what locomotive now once you choose your locomotive over on the right side you'll see the consist that are available for that ro locomotive uh, that somebody had uh, built for the purpose of quick drive. In other words, it's quick drive ready uh, and there's a train uh, available for and consists that, uh, that go along with that engine. Now hit the custom tab uh, right there, custom tab, t custom box and hit create new. You can double click it or just come down where it says confirm and and uh, you, can, you can create your own. Now First thing you want to do is select your locomotive. So I'm going to select the diesel here. And it's going to list all the diesel that you have in your assets. And you can go through these until you find the one that you want. So you drop down to diesel. And you may have a long list of diesels to select from. And what's kind of frustrating is that uh, you're going to have a mix of U.S. diesels and British diesels and other countries and uh, that's why there's a little search box up top there for steam engine you're gonna have to find the tender and so the best way to find the tender uh, is instead of running through and as you notice the tenders aren't under the locomotive type they're under the wagon type as if they're just a regular car so you have to go to type wagon and to find tender and I like to uh, write in the search box uh, T-E-N or Tender. Uh, it helps you eliminate all the other kinds of cars. And so you only have to go through the, to the, the tenders that are... Um, and so you only have to go through your steam tenders. Now for the box cars, I do a RWA and that... Elim eliminates a whole bunch of modern box cars because I know the RWA is for the old 40 foot type cars uh, from a developer that I uh, I got uh, assets from and so I use that search box to really help me filter out and like a caboose or whatever you could type caboose in here but uh, in this case uh, I just happened to come across it so I was able to build my my train as I want then you type in the name now I would say use some wisdom here and give it in the name uh, for example that you can identify what kind of engine and what kind of uh, consist that you're gonna have it's gonna be a freight train a passenger train maybe you can even say what particular type of engine it is and you can have steam mixed uh, freight passenger or whatever you want you just type in the name 
So I'm making some changes here to make it obvious to me. And then I'll say USA and save. And now what I want to click on custom and I'll show all all the custom consists that I've chosen and then I can click on that and add it right into my quick drive uh, uh, that steam engine is the consolidation and 40 foot all time cars whatever you want to put in there if you don't like you can always edit delete however you want to do it and that's how you do a custom now I promise you I want to talk to you a little bit about how to build a career uh, and doing so using the train uh, instead of using use the free roam tab instead of using the career tab so what I like to do is uh, go into uh, the free roam and uh, so we're going to find the scenario that uh, that we like and one that if you go down the scenarios you can see different seasons times of day and weather current weather uh, usually we show you as you go through the scenario on that route which engines are available find one that you would really would like uh, to do a career in so now that I know the name of the scenario I'll go to the scenario tab in the build mode scroll through the different uh, scenarios and they're sorted by route so all right once we find the sorting through the route once we find the scenario that we had decided we liked in the free room environment make sure it says free room up there and we can find that same scenario that we want to build a career with and then select it and then hit the clone see now there's a clone button down on the bottom of the page and you want to clone that scenario uh, now what I do is I like to give this a career name uh, give it a name like uh, <laughs> well you may want to just say career and then keep the same uh, scenario name as before so all your careers come up together and up top uh, of your scenarios so you don't have to go searching through all the scenarios so then uh, once you give it the name you hit clone and we can go back out of build into drive go to the free roam tab And you see how careers coming up at top. And what's nice about this is you can always you're not really touching the uh, the original developers' um, scenarios. They're still available if you want to just fool with those. But you have an exact copy with your career one. And now you can uh, every time you've you want to get back into it, uh, you can just resume where you left off provided you did a save uh, each time uh, you left off at, a, at an appropriate place. So you can develop your own work order. Uh, it won't be available as it would in the standard tab uh, as part of the, the menu system or, yeah, or, as part, or I should say as part of the HUD. And if you just keep resuming where you left off, eventually you'll have to keep an eye on things like how much fuel you have and uh, where you parked, uh, where, where you last left off, uh, what particular trains are, or at what locations uh, within, this, within the uh, route. The 2D map uh, is really nice in that uh, you can get familiar with the whole route 
you're switching and uh, that, that blue line is basically showing you which way your train is heading up to a certain distance uh, but you notice that on the TD map there's also uh, spots where the track turns uh, yellow that's your storage tracks uh, and there's uh, some areas where the, tr uh, the track is uh, highlighted green that's your passenger pickup and your, your stations really uh, so you, you can uh, take a look at the route and see what kind of passenger stations there are uh, what kind of storage tracks are available so maybe before you do your uh, clone of a particular route you're going to want to look at the 2D uh, view of it make sure you have plenty of uh, places to uh, drop off and pick up cars and places and stations for passengers gives you complete freedom to go do all the switching you want to do uh, this is all provided that the free roam scenario you decided to clone for your career has plenty of static cars throughout the route so you want to go uh, so determine what route you want to have a career in and then go into each of the actually enter each of the developer scenarios that are pre-scripted and then go into the 2d map and, and then look and see what uh, how much switching can be done how many spurs there are uh, industries there are and stations there are uh, to determine whether that uh, that route is going to be worthwhile to make a career out of so um, I like this particular developers route uh, for the old time trains you see me driving the RS1 uh, it's a uh, got plenty of places to switch uh, plenty of places to drop off passengers, do different things. Finding scenarios with plenty of uh, static cars is, uh, is, is challenging. So, uh, if you're not able to do that, then, and you have a route you like, then that's when you have to go and get beyond the uh, navigation of the. Uh, that's when you're going to have to go into build mode and learn how to to add trains to your to your free rope scenario file explorer and you can navigate to the train simulator folder and then there there's a subfolder called manuals and then you find a PDF of the train simulator 2017 manual and that is a pretty extensive uh, manual on how all the things work in train simulator so there's some additional help for you if you still have questions.